you are with me ashikus zaman now the details the election for chattogram city corporation ccc will be held on march 29 on the other hand bipoles to bogura 1 and joshur 6 will be held on the same day the decision was taken at a meeting held at the media center of nirbajan bhavan in the capital on sunday earlier on february 6 the election commission has announced the date of dhaka 10, Gaibandha 3 and Bagirhat 4 by polls. Voting in these constituencies will be held on March 21st. Rizaul Karim Chaudhry, the Awami League nominated mayoral candidate for Chattogram City Corporations, want to bring back the lost glory of the port city. If elected, he wants to solve the problems of traffic jam, waterlogging, sanitation and terrorism, taking the residents side by side. He said this during an interview with DVC News. Rizaul Karim Chaudhry became interested in politics during the Six Points movement in 1966 when he was a student of Class 9 at Chattogram. Program Muslim High School. Later, he joined Chattogram League in 1967. He was an organizing secretary of Chattogram College Chattogram League. He had worked as a general secretary and president of Chattogram League in 1970 and 1972, respectively, at the same college. Rizal Karim Chaudhry took part in the War of Liberation in 1971. After independence, he became undivided Chattogram's organizing secretary, general secretary, president and convener, respectively. Voting himself to the politics of Bangladesh Awami League, he is now leading the position of joint general secretary of Awami League in Chattogram. While talking to DBC News, he said he wants to follow the path shown by the former mayor ABM Mohiuddin Chaudhry. Chief Election Commissioner K.M. Nurul Huda has said presence of voters in Dhaka City Corporation elections was low as the candidate fails to woo the voters. He said this while inaugurating the orientation program held at the election building. The Chief Election Commissioner advised to go to doorsteps of the voters rather than showdown on the streets. He added that due to voting through EVM, there was no longer any opportunity to hire terrorists in the election. Road Transport and Bridges Minister Obaidul Kader has said if Khaled Azia's family applies for parole, the release will be considered. On the other hand, Home Minister Asaduzzaman Khan Kamal said parole or release of Khaled Azia is the jurisdiction of the court. Meanwhile, Law Minister Anisul Haq said official application is must regarding Khaled Azia's release. <laughs> Compromise or movement? They are saying repeatedly about the movement. Dual standard is being noticed among them. If a family applies for parole, the release will be considered. They need to apply to the Home Minister. No application has been submitted yet at the Home Ministry regarding the matter. I have no information where they have submitted the application. You all know. She has been serving in jail, being convicted in a grab case. This is what I have reading in the newspaper. I don't see anything officially. They need to file application through proper channel. Till then, I think it is better not to make any comment in this regard. The High Court on Sunday ordered authorities concerned to form tax forces in every district to stop plying up unfit, unregistered vehicles on the streets and to implement Road Transport Act 2018. A High Court division bench comprising Justice Muhammad Nazrul Islam Talukdar and Justice KM Hafizul Alam passed the order after holding hearing on reports filed by Bangladesh Road Transport Authority BRTA and Bangladesh Police on number of vehicles without fitness certificates. BRTA in its report informed the court that it is not being able to conduct raids against unfit vehicles for manpower shortage and pleaded for order to form tax forces. 
Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has emphasized on allocating more fund for technical and vocational training from the Prime Minister's Education as Assistant Trust to develop a skilled and efficient generation. She said this at the 6th Advisory Council members meeting of Prime Minister's Education Assistant Trust at her office on Sunday. Sheikh Hasina, also Chief Patron of the Advisory Council, said the government formed the trust to give educational assistance to talented but poor students, stressing the need for updating information on stipends. She directed the authorities to give responsibility to this end upon the officials of concerned ministry. Anti-Corruption Commission SEC will conduct ripe against all suspicious persons over accumulating assets illegally. If needed, the raid will be conducted going home to home of these suspicious persons. SEC Chairman Iqbal Mahmood said this while inaugurating a training program at Shantinagar in the capital. People keep money or luxurious assets in their home. I never heard you are searching for this. If you think there is something wrong inside the home of a suspicious person, do not hesitate. Go and search. Those who have paid taxes, we will be considered them the grabbers of public money and we will conduct drives against them. The works of ongoing development projects will not be hampered owing to coronavirus outbreak in China. Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momen said this after holding discussion with Chinese ambassador at the foreign ministry today. Bangladesh government is sending hand sanitizers and masks to China, the minister intimated. He also said the government is trying to bring back the 171 stranded Bangladeshis from China. However, we have still 171 in that Ruby province and they are willing to come. Uh, we will be bringing them in future. We are working on it. And it was by and large we put up so many of them. Now that is empty. So we have a you know, scope to bring back the others. But whoever will come, they have to go through more or less the same procedures. At least 11 people have been killed in separate road accidents across the country today. 27 more were also injured in these accidents. At least three people were killed and 10 more injured when a bus lost its control at the highway of Shirazgon's Bongabundhu Bridge area. Meanwhile, a primary school teacher died as a truck ran him over at Shingra in Nature, while a trolley driver died when a bus hit the trolley from behind at Choi Ghoriya Moor of Shatkira districts. On the other hand, two motorcycle pillions were killed at Faridpur's Ghano Shampur and Kushtia's Bheramara. Besides, three more were also killed in Sherpur Manikganj Noakhali districts. A female Chinese worker has been admitted to Rangpur Medical College Hospital in suspicion of novel coronavirus today. She has been kept at Corona Unit of the hospital. The Chinese citizen arrived in Bangladesh on February 4. She used to work at Uttura EPZ in Nilfamari. However, it will be ascertained whether she is suffering from COVID-19 or not. Earlier, three China returnee students were admitted to the same hospital, but none was infected with the virus. One hundred more China returnees have left Ashkona Hajj camp quarantine today after 14 days of observation. Earlier, 212 students staying at the quarantine left for home on Saturday. The rest of 100 China returnee students were given release from the quarantine in the morning today. Health department said all of them are in sound health and none of them were infected with the coronavirus. They expressed satisfaction over the return and quarantine management of the health department. On February 1st, these Bangladeshis who were stranded in China's Wuhan, the epicenter of the COVID-19 outbreak, were flown back home in a chartered flight. 